Hey, I'm Andrew Rodriguez, and one of the questions I get asked a lot is, hey, where's my ECU and my Golfer Jetta, and how do I take it out? I'm going to show you today how to do that. This applies to all 1999.5 Golfs and Jettas. First thing you're going to start out with is you're going to take this rubber trim off. The ECU is actually located here behind the windshield cowling. So it's really easy. The next thing you're going to do is take off the windshield wipers. They usually have a cap covering this 13 millimeter bolt on this car. They're not there. Somebody's been monkeying on it before and didn't put it back. Um, so I'm going to take the 13 millimeter nuts off. Real easy to do. Set that aside. And the other one. got that one off. Now there's a trick to taking off these windshield wipers. They are on a tapered stud, so if you just try to pull straight out, it's not going to come out. The trick is you need to push on this arm down and rock on it while lifting up here. So I'm going to do that. And if you do that, it comes out real easy. If you don't, <laughs> you might be sitting on it for half an hour. And again, I'm going to rock on it while lifting and it comes right out. Now, the next part is taking out this cowling. You're going to lift up here a little bit and get started in the back up against the windshield. Pry up. You shouldn't need any tools to do this. And it comes out pretty easy. Now, I'm just going to lift this one out a little bit. And then it comes out. Oh, here's the ECU. Okay, so this is a 2004 TDI. If you have an older car or a gas car, it may not look exactly like this setup, but the ECU will be in the same place, same concept. Um, it has sliding pins, uh, sliding locks, locking tabs that hold the ECU in. It's easiest to pull it out if you have a uh, hook tool to grab the bottom. Uh, you're going to want to slide it evenly, and uh, that will release the ECU connection. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Grab it, push, and it comes out pretty easy, as long as you know the tricks. And that's the ECU. Now this ECU, it's got a metal locking tab right here. All right, this ECU has that metal tab. It's only on one side, but you have to bend it back. So I'm bending it back, and now the ECU should be released.